Yeah, it does pop. Let me get a little video of this. Wow! Look at this sucker, huh? That's beautiful. Red calipers. They got the stitching right. Everybody was saying, make sure you check the stitching because one guy got it and it was a little crooked. And uh, I, uh, yeah. Okay, where they say it's crooked is right here. And I looked, I went right to that spot. They say right here, but look at that spot on. Well, here it is, folks. The new C8. Looking good. Z51 red calipers. Look at that, huh? Wow. Nice, she's looking beautiful. It's the Matrix Gray. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I might, I don't know, I might do the, uh, I might do the um, roof black. The same color as this side. I, mean, I don't know, I'm thinking of doing the roof black. I don't know. I like the spoiler just the way it is. Nothing too big. I can always change it. Back looks great. I'm not too excited. <laughs> very, very, very excited. Let's take a look at the black. Let's see if I can pop the... Uh, I can figure out how to pop the trunk here. There's got to be a way to pop it. Oh, there it is. Okay. There's the inside, the engine compartment. Wow, look at that. Shitsky. Look at that, huh? And I got the extra lights up there and everything. Very nice. There's the oil way over there. More stuff to hit the PDI this car yet. So some water drops on there. Hope those things come off. Yeah, they do. Okay, we'll have to clean that later. Back window looks nice. You can see right in to the dash. over to the door. I gotta figure out how to open this freaking door here. Let's see. Pretty easy. You can see the stitching on the door here. Beautiful bows. Look at the stitching. Perfect. Perfect. Stitching is gorgeous. Alright. Bowl stereo. The steering wheel. The dash. It's two-tone black and red it looks really nice I think uh, I'm gonna really like this and I've got the softest steering wheel which is nice but uh, boy everything looks great in here this guy's worth the wait <laughs> good morning it's nice to be back on YouTube had a little uh, health problem but I'm back in good shape and things are looking good hope you're all having a incredible day incredible week it's a little cool down here it's in the 60s in Florida what the heck but um, so I dressed a little cool there chilly out here this morning but uh, I sold my um, 2017 Z06 that you some of you have seen some videos on uh, it's gone but I have a replacement it only took me 16 months to get this replacement. 16 months. And here it is. Right there. That's it. That's it. Even my cat likes it. Don't you? <laughs> he, uh, he likes the car. So anyway, let's go take a look. What do you think it is? Maybe you've already guessed. I don't know. Licky, what is it? Here it is. It is. Let's take a little walk around here. Let's take a little walk around. Look at this baby, huh? Look at this. <laughs> I've been waiting for this for a while. Like I said, 16 months. And it's finally in the garage. Oh my gosh, I thought it'd take forever. Um, 2020 C8 Corvette, Z51 Mag Ride, lift, front lift. Um, uh, engine appearance package. This is ceramic matrix gray metallic. Um, sometimes that looks white, sometimes that looks gray, sometimes it looks bluish in color. It's a very interesting color. I found it very interesting. Anyway, it looks beautiful. Paint job. Kudos to the paint shop down at Bowling Green Assembly Plant. This color 
is beautiful, flawless. Guess what? I can't find any orange peel. Normally I can find orange peel in every Corvette I've ever owned. I can't find it on this car. Kudos again to the paint shop at Bowling Green Assembly Plant. Okay, open the door. Little uh, touch pad underneath here to open the door. All right. And we have a nice red, black interior, two-tone, which I liked. Uh, I don't think you can see it. I guess need it out in the sun to really show it to you. But the stitching along the door is spectacular. I don't know if you can see it or not. Stick stitching is beautiful. The seats are great. Everything about the car is great. We'll talk more about this later. The first thing everybody wants to hear is the engine, right? You want to hear the startup, right? Of course, so do I. But um, this is going to be different because you can... In the settings, you can change the exhaust note. And uh, here's my tip. You want a tip for you. If you want the loudest exhaust going, then you definitely want to put it in sport mode and put the exhaust in track mode. That's how you do it. Sport mode, track mode. I've got it in sport mode, track mode now. And I'm going to click the button twice. And we'll hear it. Here it comes. <laughs> Sounds nice, huh? I think it sounds great. But the way to get the, the loudest exhaust noise is you have to put the car in sport mode. So drive the car in sport mode. It tightens up the steering a little bit. Uh, it's nice. I like sport mode. You put it in sport mode, then you go in your dash and you can put uh, you can put in the loudest. Now uh, I also have it in Z mode. When you go in your change of Z mode, you can put all your preferences in the Z mode. I put it in track mode and everything's to the to the wall then but in this one I put it in sport mode in it and it sounds great and if I want it a little softer I put it in touring mode and it softens the ride if I'm going on a trip or something like that I would do that but anyway I've made one mod on the car and the one mod that I've done is the engine cover there's the engine cover right there let's go back over and show you what I did I wanted something that matched the valve covers little button under here you push that Pops the hood, lift the hood up. I'm coming back to this hood latch. I call it the hood, I don't know what else you call it. There's the engine cover now. I think that's a huge improvement. I don't know if you can see the valve covers down there, but it's the same color as the valve covers down there. And uh, God, I think that looks real. My wife really loves it too. She saw that and said, oh baby, I like that. That looks really great. So, uh, I have two tips for you today. The first tip is this. See where the hatch is right now? That's where it opens to. No, it isn't. There's more. You can take your hand and just push it up and get more room. Let's say you're putting something in here. You don't want to hit this. You're moving around. Whatever. You're trying to get something down here in the storage area. You can move it up there. Let me show you that again. It only comes up to there okay but i can move this up to there to get more room if you needed more room to get in here when i was changing the engine cover uh it took a while to do it oh by, by the way on the engine cover oh my gosh four screws two on that side two on that side the only trick part is this this little latch let's see if i can show you this little latch right here you have to squeeze this right here there's a little button right here you squeeze it put a Screwed flat, flat end screwdriver in there, it pops right open. And that's it, it took me 15 minutes to change the engine cover. I cringe, some guys are going to the dealer and paying the dealer to change the engine cover. They must laugh in the, the guys out in the shop must be laughing their butts off. <laughs> some boy just came in here and paid $75 to have his car change his engine cover. Very simple, very, very simple. There's a couple of videos on YouTube that show you exactly how to do it. It's a very safe 11 millimeter socket. I think it's a 10 or 11, 10, 10 millimeter socket. 
and put a little extension on it. Simple, 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 simple. One wrench. <laughs> All right. Second thing, second tip. See that window over there? How the heck do you reach that window all the way over there to wipe it? Water gets in here very pretty easily. More not not so much when it rains, but it, if you're washing the car, you can you're going to get water spots and droppings and everything you want to wipe up. How do you get way over there? Well, I suppose you could come over here and you can reach way. Uh, you can I can barely touch it here. Got an answer for you. The people that make invisible glass make this. It's a little one like this, and it's got a cover on it. These covers are washable. So instead of breaking your butt, trying to get either this piece of glass up here or this piece of glass over here, get yourself one of these at one of the local auto shops, AutoZone, whatever they are, any one of those, and uh, this will save you cleaning this back window here and especially this window up here. This is kind of tough to get this window up here too. So uh, get yourself one of these. That's my second tip of the day. So that's it for today. Uh, I just wanted to show you the startup. I wanted to show you a little quick look at the car. Wanted to show you how this can go up easier and also the change of the uh, engine cover and oh, by the way the engine cover this there's a cover underneath that so the engine cover is uh is just a little decorative piece i guess that's the best way to call it it might have some purpose but i don't see much of any purpose at all for it so but anyway there you have it that's a new ride i've got about 300 miles on it i gotta put a couple of more hundred miles on it and then i can get into the car a little bit more right now it I guess the best thing I notice, people ask me what's the big thing you notice about this car. And I love these folding mirrors too, isn't this nice folding mirrors? Um, is that if you look where the driver would sit, the driver sits right about here, okay? Now if you look at that, and then you look at the two wheels, the front and the rear wheels, this position right about here is about dead center between the front and the rear wheel. So this car rotates around you. It's totally different. I noticed it right away when I started driving the car. Um, it's kind of like driving a go-kart. It's nuts. The car is insane. I love it. So um, we'll tell you more, show you more as we go along. Hope you're having a great day. See you again real soon.